So I feel like every Sixer video I have made so far has been about one person and one person only. Ben Simmons. It was basically attached to the drama that Ben Simmons has caused to the whole NBA. And because I want views on my channel, I made the video. I'm here to talk about more positive things about the Sixers because I thought they were going to fall off a cliff if they don't have their second all-star. But at the same time, bro, accolades are really schematics anyway. Um, can you fit with that team? Can you fit with Joel B? And Tyrese Maxey is proving us all wrong that he is a great damn player. Now, Tyrese Maxey coming out the draft was only known for one thing. I'm going to drive to this damn lane and you can't do shit about it. Now, that's good in college. That's good for being faster than everybody else. But as a 6'1 guard, your main skill cannot be straight up slashing to the rim. So Tyrese Maxey had a lot of things to work on this offseason. Um, his three-point volume, check. His playmaking, check. His defense, check. The Sixers actually have somebody who actually wants to improve their game. I don't want this to be a Ben Simmons slander video, but it's the it's it's right there. I have to say it. Tyrese Maxey has improved more in one off season than Ben Simmons has in five years. And I, Sheesh. I know people like to say that for for clicks and hot takes, but I truly believe that's the case. Like I truly believe that. And I have facts to say that. Basically, Tyrese Maxey is the perfect Ben Simmons replacement. Ben Simmons doesn't have to play a game this season, and I think the Sixers might be better off, especially when it comes to playoff time. Now, let me put some respect on Ben Simmons' name. I know Ben Simmons is an all-star. Ben Simmons is one of the best perimeter defenders in the league. Ben Simmons is so versatile, he can average triple-double in his sleep. Ben Simmons is also a 6'10 point guard with A-plus transition offense. Ben Simmons is an all-star. He, he deserves to be an all-star. So let's get that out the way. When it comes to the Sixers need, when it comes to when it comes to Joel Embiid's need, Tyrese Maxey gets it done on a way higher level than Ben Simmons can even think of doing it. When I say Tyrese Maxey has improved his game, I'm not just bullshitting. I'm not just looking at his stats, even though his stats are saying that he's improved by double. Like he's went from eight points a game to 17. That's double. He went from shooting 30% from the three point range to 40%. He went from being a better playmaker all in three months, all in three to four months of the offseason. Now, the main way where I see Tyrese Maxey has improved on is his, his shooting frequency, his shooting threes frequency. He was not a good shooter his rookie year. Um, he didn't take a lot of them at all either. He was mainly a slasher 6'1", so that's why he didn't really get a lot of playing time because you're not about to get in the game and you 6'1", and you taking damn near 1-3 a game. Nick, get off the court. He has taken a boost towards being a capable three-point shooter. Now, I want his volume to increase He's only taking like three a game. It's on the right track. He's shooting 40%. Um, I think over the season, if he can get to 36, 37, 38% on like five and a half attempts a game, that is a dub for the Sixers and a dub for himself to open up his arsenal as a slasher. One thing about Tyrese Maxey is he gonna do a floater. Now, Tyrese Maxey was already great at doing this. He was already a great floater specialist, but this year, he has taken less floaters, but he's improving in accuracy of that floater. You know what that's called? Efficiency. Also, his defense. Uh, coming out the draft, I did not know Tyrese Maxey could really clamp up for it. Because my main thing is, I don't believe in small guards playing defense unless they prove me otherwise, mainly in the playoffs. Um, Fred Van Vliet, Dennis Schroeder. I don't really trust small guards to play defense, especially if you have an offensive game. Now, you can trust them for your guards, Javon Carter, play some defense. You know what I'm saying? You went to college for eight years. But Tyrese Maxey, a freshman coming out of Kentucky, I did not know he was that good defensively. Now, I know now he's not Ben Simmons-like. Ben Simmons can literally switch from one through five, can guard damn near every player, and you can't really replace that. But Tyrese Maxey is trying. He's he's trying his navigation on screens. He said Matisse Thybul has helped him on screens. He's giving praise to his teammates. He's, he's moving his feet laterally. He's He's stronger than he was before at 6'2", 6'1". Now, I just gave you three things that Tyrese has improved on in one offseason. Three things, and we're seeing this in-game. Threes, floater, playmaking, defense. These are four things you need as a guard, basically as an NBA player, to make some big money. And Tyrese Maxey is doing that at 21 years of age. Ben Simmons couldn't do this shit. 
even with a max contract. I asked Sixer fans one question. I know we love Tyrese. I know we love Matisse Tybo. I know we love first round picks. Do you trade Tyrese Maxey for Damian Lillard? I know the Sixers window as a championship team is not that wide as it was two, three years ago. Ben Simmons is off the market. Joel Embiid is coming down and down with more injuries that can plague him by, by age 33. Damian Lillard is in his prime. I know he's had a rough start to adjust to the game, but Dan, bro, come on, bro. Dame is one of them dudes. Let's not, let's not sugarcoat shit. If y'all trade Dame for Tyrese Maxey, Ben Simmons, number one draft pick, number first round draft pick, would that be enough to get him over the hump? And I know we saying, well, no, no, Tyrese Maxey is already good. Bro, y'all need a rink. Joel Embiid is one of the best big men of this generation. You need to capitalize on him because you have no choice. You have no choice. Daryl Morey, you already know, bro. Daryl Morey would do anything <laughs> to get a championship ring. So I would not be surprised if Tyrese Maxey, Ben Simmons, and fuck it. Tybal, first round pick, and Korsmoth is on the trade deadline and you get Damian Lillard. So it would be a shame to have Tyrese go through all this developmental process just for that to be in Portland. And I know Sixer fans gonna be hurt, but hey man, you be you tough, y'all be all right, man. That be all for this video, bro. Make sure you like and subscribe, man. I'm out, man. Peace.